Hi everyone, welcome to Steel Stacks Live. I am your host, John Munger, and today we are in the Music Fest Cafe presented by Yingling with Donnie and Luigi of the Verve Pipe. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time out uh, today to chat. Thanks for having us here. Absolutely. I, I, you know, that was kind of, I like that. It was, it was patronizing, but warm. It, it was good. It is. He's very good at that. I'm very warm. It's up. Uh, <laughs> oh, that too. Your beard tickles. <laughs> All right, so let's get down to it. Um, you're actually here for Music Fest 2011, yeah. and uh, you were doing two gigs. You yeah. just wrapped up your matinee for families. Yeah. For and uh, that's because you got a family album, right? Yeah. Yep. We made a family record in 2010, and we released it, and uh, it kind of came ab about when we. Uh, were approached to submit a song for a, a children's compilation for charity. And uh, Brian and I are the, uh, the writers and we got together and I wrote a song and Brian wrote a song and we gave them to the people and they chose one and but we liked the other one kind of too. And, and then Brian wrote another one and I wrote another one before we know we had six kid songs and we were laughing about them because they were kind of, I don't know, it was liberating in a way to yeah. write something that could be silly and, and fun to us. And not not writing something that had to be rock and roll and had to you know be deep meaning or anything like that. Well, but there's some deep meaning in there. there I think there, there is. is. I mean, I, I caught some of the set and uh, I was uh, pleasantly surprised because you uh, riff on food yeah. quite a bit. And as you can tell by my girlish physique, yeah. I like to eat, which is also a big part of our festival here. But uh, yeah, there was a song. Uh, actually, I think you covered all meals. Yes, we did. We did something for breakfast. We did something for lunch, and we, and we actually mentioned brunch too. So we get we get all four major brunch. meals. All right, are you up for some uh, food-related wordplay? Sure. sure. All right. Okay. So if I were to say tomato, you tomato. would say tomato. Okay. Um, potato? Potato. Potato. What about pepperoni? You say pepperoni, I say pepperoni, because really there is no other way to say pepperoni. It's true. You see what I did there? That was yeah. good. That was a little sneak peek of one of the, the songs on, on the family album. <laughs> and I, I enjoyed it very much, actually. I was like, I swear if there's pepperoni here, I'm going to find it. But uh, no, it was good. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think um, so. You know, having had the, the success that you guys have had and, and, and having, you know, some songs that you, you still hear on, on, you know, alternative radio today versus these family, what do you prefer? Is, is one different than the other? Do you get more enjoyment out of either one of them? I think that, uh, you know, I think that they each have their own place, you know, I mean, if, what you're doing today, you're here and we're having a lot of fun. And everything. Yeah. I'm, yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. I was worried. And then at times, I thought this I'm was sure, going horribly. I'm sure, like when you ha when you go to the bank, you can't be as silly as you want to do. Or it's true. when you're staying in the TSA line, you can't be as silly as well, you, you want to be. You could. And, and then it, it would take a different probably. turn. Yeah, yeah. And it wouldn't be on so a you family could, album. What I'm saying is that we have the good and the bad. We have our rock and roll, and we've got our kids' record, and we've got a chance to kind of integrate it all. And and now with great sponsors, yeah. What is it, Yingling? Yingling beer, Yingling. yes. Yeah. Perfect for a kid show. Tough to say. Perfect for a kid show. Easy to though. drink. Right. Yes. Tough to say, easy to drink. Yeah, see now, what we there did there? <laughs> yes. So, wordplay. That just happened. Wordplay. Yeah. That was good. All right. So, <laughs> what were we talking about? I have no idea. Anyway, it's great to be here. It's great to be able to do two shows because yeah. now we can, we can go and we can play to kids and their parents can come back and see us where a lot of us are parents and... And now we have a chance to make music for kids, and, and I don't know, it's just been really wonderful. Yep. And that, you know, that was one of the, the joys, as far as for me, to be a part of that family record and uh, realize that, yeah, it's, it's a, you know geared toward being a kid, but everyone can relate. You yeah. know, adults can relate to it, and we do play a few of those kid songs at our rock shows at night. And, yeah. You know, adults really get into it because they can all relate being a kid, and we get to be silly. And um, but it's not dumbed down. You know, no, yeah, not at all. Yeah. Hearing a lot it's of not like, an ABCs kind of thing. Yeah, you, know, you know, it's it's. Is a that little... because you can't spell? No, hmm? oh, that's. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm an excellent speller. I am not, so You're I wouldn't really? judge you. Well, then yeah. I will. I'll, I will bury you in a spelling. Oh, it is on. It's on. Yingling, go. Y u e n g l i n g. Oh, that's just What's because up? you live in Pennsylvania. It is. Uh, it, it's a wonderful place to live. It is Pennsylvania. Quick. Anyway. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm like, what's <laughs> happening? I don't understand. You remember the movie Roadhouse? Apollo Creed, his brain has been rattled. I don't know if you noticed okay. that. Towards it's the end true. of the movie, oh, his brain has been rattled. He that's, can't. That's good. 
As a little girl, I loved to dance. I even danced professionally for a while. During the war, I made aircraft parts for the boys overseas. Afterwards, I even married one, and we raised a wonderful family together. Nowadays, I shop, I visit with friends, and I still have time for a dance or two. I live at Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart Senior Living in Saucon Valley and Northampton. Set up your tour today. Now we love the sweet cowardice. Now that the thrill is my father moment. We really didn't need another suicide or a song explaining why it's not dignified. Um, all right, while we're being silly, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to ask you a couple questions that I like right. to ask people. I, I think it's a way to delve into the psyche of, of people, not just musicians. But you remember the movie Roadhouse? Oh, of course. Yeah, Pat absolutely. Patrick Swayze. Okay, so Patrick Swayze's character in Roadhouse. Uh, Dalton, There's, right? Dalton, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, look at this. I, I just saw it on, honestly, I saw it on TV. He, he, just, rented it, on the he just rented it last yeah, night yeah. at the Hilton. Nice. Yeah. All right, so. He demands it whenever we go. <laughs> it's on the rider. It's, it's on, on the rider. You have to have it. We need a DVD of yes, Roadhouse. Absolutely. We need the Blu-ray. <laughs> this is in a Blu-ray. And then Directors he trashes the hotel room. Yeah, I heard absolutely. they're making a uh, Roadhouse 2. That's sacrilege. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. too bad. All right, so Dalton, Roadhouse, Patrick Swayze, versus Apollo Creed from Rocky in a game of mini golf. Who wins? Uh, yeah. Well, I'd say Patrick Swayze because you got to have the smooth yeah? movement. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, well, he, he was, was like a dancer, you know. Well, Apollo a, Creed was a boxer. A, a, Apollo Creed, his brain has been rattled. I don't know if you noticed okay. that towards that's the true. end of the movie, Focus. his brain has been rattled. He that's, can't. That's good. You know, he would probably start seeing things as he was going to putt later on during the game. And uh, then it might and, get physical. Yeah. Interesting. So he might end up fighting the windmill. Yeah. Is what we're exactly. Saying. D very Don Quixote. <laughs> Wordplay. Oh, yes. We're, we're incorporating literature into today's interview. Guys, I'm, I'm going to let you go. Literature, spell it. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway uh, you spell it. You're the spelling expert. L-I-T-E-R-A-T-U-R-E. Literature. Wow. Wow. We, we, I, I like to feel like we've all learned something and come, come together. Yes, we have. Guys, thank you so much for taking some Thanks time to be us. silly thank with you. us here thank on Steel Stacks Live. Thank you. Cool. It's, Thanks, uh, it's the verfpipe.com. Yes. yes. And uh, we're online at steelstackslive.org. Check us both out, and we'll see you next time.